Hello everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial video. Today's video is going to be just a part two from my last skin texture video on Saul Goodman's forehead. All the techniques that I'm using here are pretty much the exact same as the first video. Uh, so I do suggest watching the first few minutes where I explain just the basic um, the basic steps that I use to doing this skin texture. More or less, I'm setting a foundational layer with the charcoal powder, um, with very light dust, or you just kind of very gently blending in some uh, of the 2H graphite powder. Or rather, just using the 2H pencil to build up a little bit of graphite, which you can gently blend in with a tissue paper. So if you look pretty much directly in the middle of the page, you'll notice some additive details that I've used with the 2H graphite pencil. And you'll notice interspersed between those details some slightly lighter highlights and those I will have created with the electric eraser either with the button turned on or the button turned off so if the button is pressed on you can create really really nice white highlights great for white uh, really uh, sharp white like aggressive white lines or white dots and if you want to basically use it as an eraser pencil then just don't press the button and it just won't lift quite as much off so I find the electric eraser doubles really well as both uh, an electric eraser and an eraser pencil now I've already explained most of that in the previous video in part one but the main thing that I wanted to show you the difference this video is supposed to be a little bit just more of like a relaxing real-time demo which I'll let you get back to the rest of the video very shortly but I did want to make one uh, general point uh, to because this point at this point in the drawing of the forehead you'll notice compared to the last video that I'm quite a, a bit further ahead so you'll actually see that towards more the middle of his forehead um, like I've talked in other videos about certain densities of details like the relative density of certain parts I talked about taking it like one square inch at a time when it comes to some of these um, forehead details now if you pay close attention the relative density of like how many white highlights compared to darker details there are in a given space is much more densely populated in towards the middle of his forehead than towards the outside but the techniques remain remain the same I'm still doing those same details I'm still uh, yeah I'm basically still using those three main tools but the main difference across the forehead here uh, is going to be like I said the main the main techniques is adding that foundational layer adding the details with the graphite pencil or subtracting details with the eraser but the main important thing to keep in mind here is to pay attention like i said to those relative densities of uh of the the highlights versus those additive darker details so towards the middle of his forehead you'll notice more densely populated areas where there's lighter highlights and much fewer darker additive details and if you look right at the middle of the page sort of like kind of under my hand right now but uh, towards the right of his forehead uh, particularly like right directly under where my hand was you'll notice that there's a very low density of white highlights in that particular area and a high density of dark additive highlights but the overall technique remains pretty much identical 
So one thing I'm doing here with the kneaded eraser is I'm trying to lighten up an entire section. So maybe I noticed that the, uh, the background was a little bit too dark in that particular area, such as the, uh, like the, what I'm referring to is the foundational layer. Now the kneaded eraser is good because it just it kind of lifts everything off just a little bit. So if you notice that the additive highlights are slightly too dark in that area, you just want a generally slightly light lighter value in that space. Gently coming across it with a kneaded eraser might be a good idea because it subtracts from everything equally so the additive highlights can be lightened up a little bit but the highlights I guess won't necessarily change that much already because they're already quite light so you basically just get to subtract from those additive highlights only so pretty much that's what I wanted to explain to you I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the outside of the foreheads uh, compared to the middle of the foreheads and kind of touch on again about relative density of the highlights versus the relative density of the additive darker highlights even though the techniques may or may be the same and just give you an idea of what the rest of Saul Goodman's forehead is going to look like and just give you guys a little bit of a longer tour of what this process looked like either you know the speed of that which i'm going at um the like just just basically give you guys a little bit of a deeper look inside of that and maybe also give you a little bit of an extra tip maybe an extra tip or two so i do hope you guys learned a thing or two i hope you enjoy the rest of the video um i'm going to be posting i'm trying to get through these clips as quick as i can I'm trying to really get through my saul goodman clips as quick as i can try to get through my some of my honey clips as quick as i can and i am really really excited to get started on my next piece i'm currently working on a private commission of uh the brother of chase claypool who i guess plays in the nfl so i'm working on that right now over the christmas holiday i probably won't be filming much of that because um i guess i don't really feel like making tutorials out of that commission piece i guess because i got so much backlog footage regardless but Chase Claypool, I guess he's a quite a f popular NFL uh, NFL athlete, and I, you know, really look forward to maybe any opportunities that that would uh, afford me in the future. But the drawing that I'm working on after that is especially uh, exciting for me. It's uh, someone that I actually met in florida or jamaica rather she's from florida and she's a model um uh, i met her about 10 years ago and we connected over the bella hadid reel that went viral uh, 10 years later which is very serendipitous and then uh, i found a picture of her where she is looking with cat eyes and has like these weird uh these beautiful uh, shadows on her face coming from the hat that make her look like some sort of a leopard so i really <laughs> i really really look forward to drawing that uh anyway i won't ramble on much longer i'll let you guys enjoy this peaceful music and let you guys enjoy the 4k time lapse of the rest of this process so hope you guys learned a thing or two and i will see you guys in that next video
Thank you.